Welcome to FrameReady. In this short video, we're going to take a look at using FrameReady on an iPad. To start, you'll need an iPad 2, iPad Mini, iPad Retina, or iPad Air. The FileMaker Go app. FrameReady 9 or higher, with at least one additional network license. And a local Wi-Fi connection. I highly recommend the iPad Mini as it's easier to handle and operate with only one hand. FrameReady on the iPad functions very similar to the standard Windows and Mac versions of FrameReady, with a few limitations. The iPad can email a customer directly from FrameReady, however, it currently cannot include attachments. You also cannot update vendor pricing on the iPad. It's also worth mentioning that if you wish to print from your iPad, you need an Air printer. Printers that require an additional app to print on the iPad will not work with FrameReady. There are two ways to use FrameReady with your iPad. Upload your FrameReady files directly to your iPad. This will allow you to take your data with you. The downside to this is that any changes you make to the data on your iPad will not be reflected on your FrameReady computer at the store. So any changes you make on the iPad will have to be manually made on the computer. The first step is to download the FileMaker Go app from the App Store. Once you have downloaded FileMaker Go, you will need to connect your iPad to iTunes on your FrameReady computer. Make sure that you exit FrameReady first. Select your iPad under Devices. Select Apps. You may need to scroll down to see the apps list at the bottom. Select FileMaker Go. Click the Add button. Navigate to your FrameReady folder and select all of the FrameReady files. You can highlight individual files by holding down the Control key on the PC or the command key on the Mac. Select Open. It will take a few seconds to upload the files. When the files are done uploading, remember to eject your iPad before disconnecting any cables. On your iPad, open the FileMaker Go app. Tap the square icon in the upper left corner and select Home. Select Device and then select Main Menu. You will be prompted to enter your account name and your password. Before we look at FrameReady on the iPad, I want to go over method two. Share FrameReady over your local Wi-Fi using the FileMaker Go app. Whatever changes are made on the iPad are also made on the computer and vice versa. Data is updated instantly and no syncing is required. The only limitation with this method is, since the data lives on your FrameReady computer, you cannot take the data with you. This method also requires you to download the FileMaker Go app from the App Store. Although the app is free, Networking your FrameReady program is not, and additional licensing may need to be purchased from SoftTouch Solutions. To access FrameReady over your network, you'll need to check a few things first. On your FrameReady computer, select Setup Data from the main menu. Select the Network tab, and verify that network sharing is turned on. If it is not, you'll have to click the Set Files to Multi-User button. Open the FileMaker Go app. Tap the square icon in the upper left corner and select Home. Select Hosts. Select your host computer, and then select Main Menu. Enter your account name and password. and select Go. To navigate in FrameReady on the iPad, simply use the same navigational icons that you use on the computer. Selecting the Contacts icon, 
will take you to the contacts file. The work order icon will take you to the work order file, and so on. Use the yellow arrows to navigate between the records. Select the Find button to perform a find. Use the New Work Order button to create a new work order. When entering data with the on-screen keyboard, it's very helpful to use the Next and Previous buttons to navigate to the next or previous fields. The Hide Keyboard key also comes in handy. One feature unique to the iPad is the ability to take a picture or enter a customer's signature right from FrameReady. Select the Picture tab on the work order. Select Insert Picture. Select Camera. And take your picture. Signatures can be recorded as well. Select Signature rather than Camera and have the customer sign their name directly on the iPad. This concludes this video. For more information on using FrameReady on the iPad, or for FrameReady upgrade or additional licensing pricing, please contact our office by phone or email. Thanks for watching.